Hello, siblings. I hope your holiday season was a blast. Sorry I didn't post anything holiday-themed. Most of my content uploads for, for The Sims, specifically, were pre-made, and I didn't really plan too carefully for the holiday season, because I just was thinking about jumping into all of this. Chop that up to 2020, if you will. But this video in particular is sort of holiday-themed. To cap off what has already been one of the most difficult years to navigate through, this project is a collaboration between five Sims tubers, and it's a it has a very wholesome story to it that I'm excited to share with you, but I also want to try to hold back at the same time because it's not all story that I've developed on my own. But on my end, this video almost didn't even get to happen. So what happened to me is I recorded everything, but then my computer suddenly decided to blue screen multiple times, and despite anything that I was doing to repair it, it appeared to be working, and I would turn it on, and the computer would be running for a little while, and then it would just suddenly, out of nowhere, blue screen again. But at least I was able to get into Windows, and I had to do a full system restore. Um, which thankfully appears to have resolved the issue, but for a while I was worried I might have to actually let go of the videos and recordings that I'd already stored on the computer, and I already had this part recorded, uh, audio voiceover excluded from that. Um, but I had yet to edit it or upload it to YouTube, as well as other Let's Plays and things of the sort that I had not been able to post and get scheduled. So I was in panic mode. <laughs> uh, but thankfully I'm back in business and it didn't have to cause a disruption on the channel, which I've only just gotten started with. So yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> but our collaboration started with the creation of a family of Sims called the Finneys and their backstory, which was developed by Chazzy Sims. And you can find Chazzy and everyone else who participated in the collaboration in the description below this video. Um, I will link to their collaboration videos, and if I don't have the link yet to their collaboration videos, that link will be replaced with their channel link, so you can still go there and find the video when it's uploaded, um, or you can just keep checking back to see if the description below has been updated. But please do go check out all of their hard work. Everyone put a lot of effort into the build, and we are so proud of it. I am excited to be able to share what this team has, has put together. And I hope that you enjoy downloading not only the build, but the Sims, and playing out their entire story. I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Tell me some of the little things that they get into, and if you really enjoyed playing with them. So Chazzy developed an awesome backstory for a family of three Sims, and it exemplifies the fact that blood doesn't always have to make a family. A family can be created um, from anyone, and the two adult Sims, the, the married couple adult Sims, adopted a teenage son who is about to age out of the foster care system because they have such big hearts. And I just thought that was a perfect story for the holiday season especially. So I was very excited to jump into building what I thought would be the perfect home for them. Chazzy put so much detail into her story and I'm not going to rehash absolutely everything here, maybe only the details that I was tunnel focused on and trying to think about and work around as I created the layout. So please go watch her video because I'm sure she'll probably go into a lot more detail with it. Um, however, the story of these Sims stuck with me while I tried to build the shell and the layout of their home. Um, I had that in the background the whole time trying to, to figure out what would work with them. Um, you see, I'm used to designing big houses and a lot of Sims players are intimidated by that, but not me. Give me those 60 by 60 lots any day, please. I promise, I can fill them. Small houses are a huge challenge for me. That tiny home flash tour that I posted, you have no idea. If I had started YouTube back when I was creating that, 
how many sheer hours that it took me to get through that. Like, I struggled to to only build as small as that was. But I, I love that it, stuff pack because it forces me into trying to keep it a certain size. And that's kind of starting to force me out of that shell a little bit so that I can expand my building capabilities and build all sorts of different structures. But when Chazzy said that Mr. Finney was a Grammy award-winning celebrity singer-songwriter, my first thought was, Mansion, here we come! Until I read further and realized that they're a humble family who don't flaunt their wealth. I knew that still money wouldn't be an issue in the build, but also that told me that the big mansion I had instantly pictured with the double staircase entrance would not exactly suit the Finneys. So I was back to square one. We wanted to build near the beach in Brindleton Bay, but some of those lots were too small and left no room for the home and landscaping, which the landscaping in and of itself was originally supposed to be one entire creator's to-do thing, what they were going to create their video around. Um, so I knew I had to leave some room for that, which <laughs> was certainly a struggle. You can already see on the screen that there, <laughs> there's not much yard. But... Yeah, no. So we found a workaround for that. I'll get into that here in a bit. Um, but I found a waterfront lot in the same town, and I thought it kind of suited their more humble nature. And all of the larger lots, really, in Brindleton Bay just had this grandiose entrance that I just didn't think would suit the backstory that Chazzy came up with at all. Um, so... I knew I wanted to use the platform tools because they were so new and I'd really yet to build a house with those. Um, a theater speed build will come later, so please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be updated as soon as that gets posted. Um, but yeah, so I also had an, I had an idea before I started to build the home for a split level patio, which is the first thing I started from. We've already passed that in the video. Uh, but I love the way that it turned out. Um, and I had issues every time I went to build anything upstairs. The stairs that I kept putting in there would just disappear on me. So those aren't even the original stairs that I picked. I would just eventually wound up changing those. Um, so I was trying to build an attic up here for the hobby room. Because I had this idea that, you know, the singer-songwriter would like to have a, a private music studio and I thought you know more creative spaces or whatever could go up in the attic it might be a neat little private spot for that just to have a little music room up there for practicing and stuff but you'll see as I built that because of how blocky the front of the build was I was really struggling with the look of that like yeah, it just was not going to work, because if you made that room smaller, it looked unbalanced, and you couldn't pull the walls back further so that you could put some roofing in the front there to, like, create interest or whatever, because the stairs were all the way up against the front side of the wall, so they had to exit the stairs from there, and I just, I, I couldn't make it work. <sighs> yeah was not working. I even tried different roof shapes, tried to tried to build interest and nothing that I knew to do was working and it just looked too off-centered and unbalanced and I just I hated it. I hated the whole thing. I hated it. You know, sometimes making things look more interesting <laughs> doesn't make them look more interesting. <laughs> so, this is just me struggling with the roofing. Um, I tried a lot of different tricks that just weren't working for this build particularly. Like, I, I like to place these little rooms on the top, and I tend to throw windows and roofs on them, and it, it can make a lot of builds look really nice just to have that added feature, even if it's not functional and your sims never go up there. 
But on this particular build, given the front of the home and the entrance, it just, it wasn't working. It just looked like the house had eyes and a nose and it was just god awful ugly. <laughs> it just, it was not working. <laughs> But I struggle with this one for a while, so just bear with me there. I was trying to force it to work. I needed something on there so that it didn't look so simple at the top, I suppose. I do eventually find a solution, I promise. But I, I had to experiment my way through this. And I was trying to make it work with that little piece that extended off in the back, too. So that it would all come together evenly but even that looked off centered in the front and i just it wasn't working guys it just it was not working um yeah it was not working <laughs> have i said it wasn't working <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, that didn't look too bad, but then I threw that third piece on, and without it, they kind of looked like, I don't know, cat ears or something, and we weren't trying to go for, like, a super cutesy home. <laughs> but, I mean, it wasn't too bad if you really like cats. <laughs> that wasn't the vibe I was going for. So, obviously, I didn't keep that. Um, I did miss something in this, by the way, because apparently the the mailbox spawned in the living room area and I just built all around that and just completely ignored it somehow <laughs> oops uh but that does get fixed somebody somebody else in the collaboration did notice that and, and fix that for me so yay thank you and I do want to give a huge thank you to everyone who participated in this collaboration because it was fun. This was my first ever collaboration with other YouTubers and and it was just it was just great. I really enjoyed it. So just a real quick glimpse here at the family that Chazzy made. We have Adam Finney. You see that his aspiration is musical genius. He's a genius, neat and family oriented. Liz Finney. She's a computer whiz, ambitious, a bookworm, and also a genius. And their son, Magnus. He's a master maker active, and a maker. So we're going to go ahead and place this family down onto the lot. We need the move objects cheat on. Because especially with my games, objects like to randomly disappear especially if they happen to be columns, which I know that I placed some columns in my original part of the build that they have retained throughout their part of the collaboration. Here it goes. I've actually not seen everybody else's portion of this yet. I've seen some skeletons because she's shown us some screenshots of the outside of the build, but not I haven't seen her basement, what she's done in the basement yet. And I haven't seen what anybody else has done anywhere on the floors. So you're actually getting my first impression. I was careful not to download the final thing until we are ready. So I did make it winter before I placed this lot. So you can see it is snowing in the game. And I thought that was fitting because it's an end of year collab in the winter time. So I don't know what seasons everybody else had their game on whenever they loaded it. But we're going to take a quick look around. I saw her screenshots of this already. But Sim Skeleton decorated the exterior of the home. And she did change up, I think, 
I can't remember. I have to look at my video, but I think she did change up the columns. And they look great because they match the wallpaper that she used on the bottom. And actually, I was hoping that somebody would do something like this where you're using multiple wallpapers on the outside. Houses that use the entire exact same wallpaper throughout the entire build sometimes just look flat and boring. So this adds appeal, I think, and I like it. Oh, look, I didn't notice this from her screenshots, but we have a wreath on the door. I'm going to unpause the game actually and let the finnies kind of wander around. They're a little cold. They need to go back inside and get warmed up in their nice home. Why are you embarrassed? Oh, yes, because we need to actually make him the celebrity that is his backstory. And I made the lot trait a celebrity home, and no one's changed that. Oh, look at that kitty! Ah! I'm easily distracted. There's another kitty. Tiny peek of the inside. I'm not ready to look in there yet. She's going to go all the way around to the other door. So I will show you. The entire rotation. I think the decorations that she used are actually very fitting for the family because they're very, even though they're loaded and rich and celebrity, they are very homey and down to earth. And I like that. I like the winter or the window planters. And she did not forget to add a trash can outside. I like that it's hidden there in the corner. Basement first. This is another part of Sim Skeleton's build. And if you remember, I put hobby areas downstairs. I had an idea in mind of where I thought items would go or what room would specifically be what. And I like that she didn't actually do it the way that I had had it in my mind because I like being surprised like that. Originally, I was thinking the music room would be through here so that the sound could carry out into the hallway and people could gather around in here and this could be some sort of sitting room where they'd listen. She did pick up on sitting room because she's got some chairs and decorations out here in the hall and I like that but the music room is over here and I kind of like that better actually because sometimes you just need to close the door and focus on your sound and not have the sound like go out out into the abyss I suppose <laughs> so where the music room is currently is initially where I thought the makers room would have to go just because of how bulky some of these items are but she's made it work in this small room that I intended to be like a home office area with like computers and tech stuff. So that looks pretty nice. I uh, will fully admit I suck at putting these objects down and making it look nice. And this is just simple. It flows very well from one corner to the next. And the rug adds a lot of detail. It looks really great. And look who we have already in the tech room. You can tell it's her space. But there's also room for somebody to come down and, you know, sit at the computer with her. I like that she's placed the extra computers around here. It's almost like it's a multi-monitor setup. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. She's put a lot of detail into this. I love it. And she added trophies, too. Right down here. I like that. I think I'm ready to uh, ascend the stairs and see what we have at the entrance. Oh, wow. I love that they kept the white borders. 
but we have a wood tone and then white walls. It's very fitting and it, it really kind of brings everything together and I love that. Oh, we have different accent walls over here when you come in. Bailey Sims is the one who decorated the first floor. I don't know if I've said that yet. I don't think I have. I like this at the entrance because we do have a very musical sim. Very nicely decorated. I love it. I was honestly a little bit worried that I didn't leave enough room. I usually place objects as I build and I was trying not to do that too often because I wasn't the decorator. So, <laughs> so I'm glad that this fits quite nicely. I guessed the space fairly well. I love this cozy fireplace. And she even gave it an accent. I thought I saw a uh, column over here for a second and then it disappeared. Nope, it's there. I assume that this column is also supposed to be over here and that it's disappeared from my game. I don't know that for sure, but I do have major issues with columns spontaneously disappearing from my game. So I'm just going to assume that and place that. I love the detail with the paintings up here on the wall, a nice little like common room computer area. Now I didn't want to tell anybody exactly what I was going for over here with this nook. I wanted them, I wanted to see what they came up with, if it was anywhere close to what I had in mind. And this is close, um, but originally I was thinking like some sort of trophy display shelves with the, with the trophies and things on it here, um, where they could just kind of showcase all of the trophies that they'd earned. But I kind of like this better because I experimented with it a little bit whenever I placed this down and I put trophy shelves in here and it just, it didn't look all that great. So I'm glad that, so, that they found a, a better space for this. I was also worried that the kitchen was going to be way too small, but this kitchen looks a, like a pretty decent sized kitchen and she has put everything together in such a great way. It looks phenomenal. I like the detail with this clipping into the, the refrigerator here even. So I wasn't 100% certain whenever I was building this which side of this would have made the better kitchen, but I did place some stuff down to sort of experiment where I would like to see what get placed. And I'm glad that Bailey Sims has chosen this is the dining room and this is the kitchen because I thought that would be uh, the better layout of that. So I'm glad that she picked up on my intent with that. And they are sitting down and having a chat and Magnus over here is a uh, cooking something. I don't know if he's cooking for the whole family or not because I didn't tell him to do that. I love that this is catty cornered, that it's not just sitting from one wall to another flat against the wall. I love that. I don't usually do that with a lot of my items. I love the male sitting here. <laughs> That's great. All right, so this is the entryway that takes you on down the stairs to the basement where we just were. And this is a decent sized um, bathroom. I love it, it's simple. We have some snow outside, I am so excited. I am absolutely going to be showing you guys what this place looks like with snow on the roof. Princess Plum Bob has designed our top floor. So we'll go on up the stairs and check that out. Oh, right away the first thing I noticed was the yellow. Chazzy Sims mentioned something in her description of the family to do with like 
wild color schemes, so right away I already know whose room that is. And come up the stairs. Nice little sitting area. I love the rug placement. Each bedroom upstairs has its own bathroom. I love the detail of this. <laughs> this is so great with the clothes on the floor and everything. Okay, so this room is the parents' room. We have their music tools and instruments and even music themed art on the wall. So a lot of attention to detail went into these. I love the collars. I use this painting on a lot of my builds. I absolutely love this painting. I love it. So let's see what the master ensuite looks like. I love the black and white theme with a splash of color from the plants. And this beside the tub, that's a nice detail. I love that. And she didn't forget to put a little bit of clutter beside the bathtub because, you know, if you're going to take a bath, you need to have your shampoo and everything ready. We didn't forget the toilet paper roll. I love it. It looks like there's supposed to be two sinks here. And for some reason, like the, I'm assuming because of the soap containers that there were two sinks there. I don't know what sink she used, but it disappeared from the build. That's my game for you. Given that the counters are the same between the two bathrooms, I'm going to assume for this that the sinks were the same. And she can correct me if I assumed wrong. <laughs> or if there weren't supposed to actually be two sinks and they just had their own separate containers. Or, yeah. I love the corner tub. I never am able to get it to fit very well with anything that I'm trying to build, <laughs> but she's made it fit very nicely in this awkwardly shaped bathroom here. And he has more of a splash of color in here, which is nice. I love that. And he's a maker, so he's a little bit more conscientious, I would say, of the environment and different things. Um, so I like that there's plants and accents there. Wow, yeah, I'm impressed. I do not think I would have done a better job. <laughs> not in the least. Everybody picked up on the story and made it happen, and it looks great. So if you remember from my version of the build, I did not have this little awning up here at all. That's awesome skeleton. 
I am glad that she added that because that whole part was bothering me and I did not want to put a roof there because I thought it would distract from everything else. But she did find a solution that I didn't even think of. And I've seen this in a lot of builds. I don't know why I just never do it. But yeah. And she even added the details with the uh, foliage and things on there. But yeah, guys, it's a nice January winter home. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and I'd like to give an extra special thanks and shout out to everyone who participated in this collaboration and helped make this happen. You all did a phenomenal job, and I'm impressed, so I hope my audience and your audiences are equally as impressed, if not even more impressed. And thank you very much for tuning in and watching. I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And please check out that description and click on everybody's channel and go check out their portion because the creation of their section of this collaboration is all theirs. So you can go in and check out what they did, why they did what they did, and what their thought process was throughout the entire thing. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Do the same on everybody else's videos. Please go check those out. And uh, subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I will see you in the next video that I post. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date when I post my latest videos. Thank you and have an awesome day and a wonderful new year.